Hello, everybody, and happy Sunday morning or whatever time of day you are watching this. This is just a quick little channel update video to keep all of you guys in the loop. I have mentioned on Twitter and I think on a couple of videos that I'm going to be traveling this week, this Wednesday. I am going to be gone for about a week. Now, with that being said, I have been pre-filming a bunch of stuff to have scheduled to drop for you guys while I'm away. However, a lot of the live shows that I do, like David Zublik and Aquarius Rising Africa, those will not happen while I'm traveling. With that being said, I will be on with Aquarius Rising Africa this Monday morning because I'll still be here in Atlanta. But for the Wednesday wellness, I will be on the road as well as the next Monday, the 18th and the next Wednesday, I will be traveling during that time. So those episodes won't happen then. But once I'm back from my travels, I'll get back to my regularly scheduled live shows with my friends. Now I wanted to catch you guys up with our love challenge video. I got everyone signs in. I got a bunch of videos from other creators. I'm going to be putting that video together in order to release it for Easter. So be looking out for that video to drop next Sunday. In the meantime, I I wanted to give a very, very special shout out to one of the subscribers of this community, Lisa. Lisa sent me the most beautiful journal I think I've ever seen in my life. And it has the, the actual sign that says, I love you. You're probably thinking you don't even know me. But if people can hate for no reason, I can love. Lisa, this is absolutely gorgeous. I am going to be sending you a thank you note. Be looking out for that in the mail in the next couple of weeks. And actually what I'm thinking about doing, I got your sweet note inside as well. I'm going to save the note. And what I'm thinking about doing, guys, I'm actually thinking about not putting anything into this notebook uh, right away. I'm actually thinking that, now hear me out. When all of this flips and we're all able to celebrate and actually see each other, I'm thinking about putting pictures of you guys in this book and little notes and stuff from you guys because you guys have meant the world to me on this journey. And so I'm thinking about using this beautiful, beautiful journal that Lisa made as kind of like a scrapbook, as like a memento for selfishly for myself so that when the day comes that I do actually meet you guys in person that we can take pictures and I can have you guys write things in this. And it will be an awesome way to remember everything that happened during this incredible timeline that we're all living in right now. So I just wanted to once again, give a very special shout out, shout out to Lisa because Lisa, this is, this is gorgeous. And I, I got so emotional when I opened the package. Thank you so, so, so much for making this for me. It's, it's, I love these gifts. This is just so, so, so sweet. And I, I, I appreciate it so much. Now, once again, I also want to remind everybody to please make sure that you are subscribed to my Rumble page, just in case. I think I'm okay right now, but just in case, please, please, please make sure that you are subscribed to the backup channel. I will put a link to that down in the description box below. This will also help whenever I have any very potent guests come on my channel or very potent topics that I need to talk about. Instead of censoring these topics and talking around them, I'm just linking them over to Rumble so that we can have a thorough conversation. And I know there's been some confusion as of late as how to find the full episodes. So if you go ahead and su just subscribe to the Rumble page, you'll get notified when those drop as well. Now, if you guys watch the episode that dropped yesterday with Mornay and Shanti from Aquarius Rising Africa. We talked about, kind of jokingly, talked about having our moms come on the show for like a Mother's Day uh, episode in May. And maybe you guys can ask our moms some questions. If that's something that you guys would be interested in doing, please let me know down in the description box below. I don't check the Rumble comments like I check the YouTube comments. Rumble is a little bit harder to navigate as a creator than YouTube is. So that's typically why I don't really check the comments there. It's just, it's just complicated. So please let me know down in these comments if, if a mom's episode is something that you would be interested in. And if so, 
if you guys want to ask questions of our moms let us know too in the, in the comment section below and we can maybe set up a little email for that as well so you can send in the questions to ask the moms regarding the mother's day episode all right you guys so once again this week at 10 o'clock eastern time on monday morning i will be on with aquarius rising africa to talk about the voynich manuscript which is um something we have covered on this channel before but we're going to revisit it with morning and shanti so please go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to their new channel. I'll put a link down in the description box so you can catch that live episode. At least I think it's going to be live. They might not have the number count yet to do a live. So if it's not live, I apologize. But once it's up, I'll share it on my community tab as well. Tuesday, I will be back again with David Zuplik on the Dark Outpost to once again go through the Yoga Sutras as well as talking about Debbie Pearl's horrific book about how to be his help meet, how to be the perfect submissive wife, whatever. Um, I will also be filming a round table that early that morning with David Cohen, Medina and Catherine Edwards early, early that morning. And that is something we messed up last week because of the time change, but now we've got it all sorted. And I, um, I'm going to be up at six o'clock doing that round table with them. So hopefully I'll have that out for you guys on Tuesday. We also have the first installment of the Magdalene manuscript dropping this Tuesday as well. And then for the rest of the week, as I said, it will be pre-filmed videos that are going to drop. And then when I get back from my travels, I will return back to filming my regular programs. Oh, I also wanted to give you guys a head up. One of the pre-filmed videos that I'm going to be actually filming today to be to be released next week. I'm filming with Stephanie. It's going to be a follow-up to the dosha video that I released with Catherine last week. If you missed the dosha episode that I filmed with Catherine during coffee chat, I will link that down in the description box as well. And I had so many people have follow-up questions and follow-up comments. So I thought I would do a part two with Stephanie because Stephanie has actually been embarking on the dosha diet and working with her doshas as of recently. It's been new for her. And so I thought that would be interesting to have her come on and talk about her experience. I do want to, again, say with the doshas, I had some people comment that they were tri-dosha, so therefore they were balanced. No, 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 no. Don't ever think you're balanced because no human being is balanced. That's the whole point of being human is that we ebb and we flow. If you're tri-dosha, that typically means you're probably going to have a little bit more work to do because you're going to have to balance all three doshas. Where for me as a vata pitta, I just have to really hone in on the kappa energy to balance my vata. So it's actually less work for me than maybe someone who is tri-dosha because now we have to figure out the balance between the three of them. And so if that is something that's confusing you, just let me know again down in the description box below. Hopefully I can answer some of those questions again for you guys. Once more, as far as the Ayurvedic diet and the dosha diet, I would 100% suggest that you guys find a clinic in your area. I had someone comment that they didn't think there were any Ayurvedic clinics in Canada. Yes, there are a ton of Ayurvedic clinics in Canada. You just Google it. Even You don't even have to go to DuckDuckGo. Just put it in Google, Ayurvedic clinic, my area, and you're going to probably see a handful of clinics pop up. Um, if you're in a small, small, small town, might be less likely, but just search for the nearest city to see um, where you have the Ayurvedic clinic. And as I said with Catherine, I think I said it with Catherine, is as far as the Ayurvedic doctors are concerned, you can go and interview all of them and see which one you feel like you're going to work the best with. It's it's not it's not just a cookie cutter type of practice. This Ayurvedic eating. So um, go and try them all out and see which one works the best for you. But I would 100% suggest that if you are really interested in embarking on eating for your dosha, please find a practitioner to help you with this because it, it gets complicated. It's easy, but it's also complicated at the same time. And the Ayurvedic practitioner is going to ask you a lot of questions about your lifestyle and about you as a person, not just your eating habits. 
They're going to look into your eyes. They're going to look at your tongue. They're going to take your pulse. They're going to do a bunch of other things to really figure out and hone in on what your specific disposition is energetically. And what you might find is foods that you thought were healthy for you because someone told you they were are actually not healthy for you at all. And that Ayurvedic practitioner is going to be the one that's going to be able to have the education and the information to help you really, really embark on your new way of eating and your new health. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Easter weekend coming up. If that is something you celebrate, I think there are a lot of schools that are on break right now. So I hope that you are enjoying your time with your family. Please be safe. um, Love each other. Keep your head held high. I know that the best is truly yet to come.